Luis Estrella de Diego. I'm a professor at the University of Madrid, Universidad Complutense, I'm an academician at the Real Academy of Arts. And the first time I visited NYU was as a Fulbright scholar many, many years ago, unfortunately, not visiting NYU but being uh, younger. And then, you know, I kept on coming as a scholar, you know, visiting scholar, etc. And then I, I ended up being, uh, having the great honor to become uh, the King Juan Carlos visiting professor uh, very many years ago. Too. I was the first woman to be a scholar at the King Juan Carlos Center, you know, so it's, uh, that's a double honor. After me, many brilliant women were scholars, but um, I keep that small honor to be the first. I was a postdoc um, Fulbright, and, uh, and I was at the Institute of Fine Arts, basically working on uh, a book on androgynous images. And, uh, and it was great to be in New York because it was like the right place to, to work on androgynous images, you know, not only Madonna. And uh, I remember that book now. And it, it has been reprinted uh, a couple of years ago. And, uh, and I was doing visual studies without even knowing I was doing visual studies, you know. None of us were thinking of visual studies um, approach, but in fact, some of them were doing it. Some of us were doing it. And, uh, and of course, I could go to the seminars of Professor Brown and uh, Professor Rosenblum, and I met Rob Lubar, who was then a student or was working on his PhD. So as you can see, my, my links and, and, and friendships to NYU and with NYU are very strong and old. Well, I'm very old, so what can you expect? <laughs> I was going back to New York, which is always, you know, like going back home for me ever since, you know, I, I was a Fulbrighter at NYU for two years. And, uh, and you know, I, I met uh, new friends. I saw old friends, you know. And, uh, and I was, basically, I was working on a project of uh, Gala Salvador Dali, um, Gala book, a Gala's book. I was uh, co-teaching with Professor Luber at, at the uh, Institute of Fine Arts, um, a course on Dali. And I kept, you know, uh, the gala part. So basically, I was working on, on this book, on this project. And it was a privilege to share time with Professor Lubar, who uh, is one of the greatest experts on Dali, not only at NYU, but, you know, all around the world. And of course, I spent a lot of time with um, Jay Fernandez, who was then the director um, of the King Juan Carlos Center. And I could give, you know, public lectures and I participate in the activities. I always remember those months uh, at the King Juan Carlos Center as a very, very happy uh, months in my life. We had the seminars, you know, like different scholars and writers, etc. Antonio Muñoz Molina was joining the seminary. And I remember the Dean for the Humanities came and uh, and he said, oh, it's very interesting all you said. I will take, you know, I, I have been taking some notes, so see if I can use it somehow. But it was a, a great anecdote. But um, I think, you know, the warmth um, of all people and, uh, and, and you know, and, and it, was so, it was so interesting, you know, to have this center focused on, on Spanish culture, on Latin American culture, which was not so... Uh, which it was not so, I mean, now we are used to having Spanish and, and Latin American together, culture, culture. But at that time it wasn't so, I mean, it wasn't so widespread. I think it was, a, uh, it was interesting, you know, to, to share space in a center that didn't make a difference between uh, the two continents, you know. And I think, you know, that was one of the most remarkable things for me. Um, seminars um, at, at, at the Institute of Fine Arts are very small. Maybe we had like seven students, six students, which is again a privilege from a Spanish perspective because of course I mean groups here are, are much bigger, especially with one of them I still, we're still in touch and she has become um, a very well-known Latin American art scholar. The way I see going to the Juan Carlos Center is that, you know, a place where you have been going throughout the years, have been visited throughout the years, you have been working very strong relationships with the, with the university and then you had this beautiful present, okay? You could spend some time at the King Juan Carlos Center, and of course, it's a, it's a great academic honor, no doubt about that. And, uh, and my life was, you know, going back to New York. I mean, that's the best present I can get, you know? Going back to New York, having these links with uh, those people in New York, you know, even stronger, 
because it was the opportunity of, you know, sharing, as I said, a class with Professor Luber, etc. And, you know, and the book was published. You know, I think every stay in New York for me is a published book. And, you know, the gala book, I mean, uh, well, from a Spanish point of view, in, in times previous to internet, etc., going to the Bob's Library was really a privilege. I mean, I could cross the street and I was there at the Bob's Library, you know, open shelves. You could look for everything you wanted to get and everything was there. And, uh, you know, libraries in Spain have changed a bit. But, you know, that was like a, like a fist. I mean, you could use the books, read the books, and, you know, um, some, um, you know, some uh, research that would take a very long in Spain would go like that. And, and I have to say that this is something I've been missing a lot in this period where we obviously can travel around. And uh, not going to New York is making me lazier and mentally lazier. So I think, you know, uh, the stay at the King Juan Carlos Center was a privilege and a part of a, of a love story with, uh, with NYU for me. For years, I've been spending a couple of months in New York on a regular basis. You know, I used to go to the library and I used to sort of uh, make photocopies because at that time, you know, it was the time for photocopies and I would bring them back. And of course, the Warhol book, um, I mean, it was crucial for me to have access to all magazines and, and, uh, and publications and, and visiting, of course, MoMA library. And uh, I mean, I would say that all my books uh, are New York books, <laughs> because I think, you know, my links, affected and professional links to the city uh, are very, are very strong. That's why I've, now that I can go, if, you know, even uh, when I didn't have probably um, two months in a row to go to, to the city, I could always manage to spend one week, two weeks, you know, just visiting, doing different projects, but, well, it's... Um, it's a, it's a very exciting city, and it's a, a very exciting university. So um, this is one of the best things that happened to me in my life, you know, going to deciding, you know, getting the, the scholarship and going to, to NYU. I'm very grateful to NYU, and I'm very grateful to my, you know, to, to, to my life for that. I think it has been a very important thing for me, you know, this contact to, to this university, and with my bunch of colleagues, etc. And it's not that I'm saying that because I want to be nice for the interview. It's very, it's truly, it's, it's absolutely what I feel about it. Since I couldn't go to New York, I have just finished a book um, about a Prado, a new Prado, okay? Prado from gender studies, race issues, etc., etc. And it's not a book related to New York, but I would think, of course, it's a, it's, it's a resume to a certain extent of what I have learned in New York during this past, I don't know, 30 years. Um, and, uh, and, and, it's, and of course, I mean, the book starts at the Prado, but I was rereading it again for, you know, for the publisher, and I realized it starts at the Prado, of course, at the Meninas, of course, which of course are related to Jonathan Brown for lots of different reasons. But immediately I jumped to MoMA and speak to um, uh, so even in New York, if New York is not in my books, um, New York is in my life. I can, I mean, I, I can get rid of New York. I don't want to get rid of New York. And I hope, you know, if uh, the pandemics uh, let us live a, sort of a normal life in the near future, I wish I could go back to New York uh, and have a truly new um, project very soon. <laughs>